Hi, my name is Rebecca, and in today's lesson, I'm going to show you some easy tricks when using countable and uncountable nouns. Okay? So first, let's just do a quick review. What is a noun? In English, a noun is a, usually refers to a person, place, or thing. Okay? And nouns can actually be classified in many, many different ways. We have proper nouns and common nouns and so on. But for the purpose of this lesson, we're going to focus on one way of classifying nouns, which is whether we can count them or not. Now that can cause a little bit of confusion because sometimes uh, you're not sure if a noun is something you can count or not. The ones you can count are usually pretty obvious. The ones that we call non-count or uncountable nouns are not so obvious and therefore they cause a little bit of confusion for English learners. So I'm going to show you a way that you can distinguish between them and also a way that you can use them correctly afterwards um, in, a, in sentences. Okay, so let's look at the board. Okay, so first of all, let's look at some examples of countable nouns. So countable nouns are things you can count, like chair, chairs, table, tables, books, shops, markers, shirts, okay? They can be singular or plural, all right? And usually the plural form has an S. So those are the countable nouns. The uncountable nouns or the non-count nouns are ones which only have the singular form. They don't have a separate plural form, okay? So we can't say sugar and sugars. We can only say sugar, furniture, equipment, information, advice, or rain, okay? So these are examples of non-count nouns. So what causes confusion for people is to know when do I say many, can I say many information, much information, much markers, many markers. So this causes a lot of confusion for a lot of students. So I'm going to try to show you a little trick that will help you to know when to say many, much, or what you can do if you don't want to make a mistake at all, okay? So let's look at what we can use first with the countable nouns. With countable nouns only, you can use a, like you can say a chair, a book, you can say many shops, many shirts. You can say few tables or a few chairs. Okay? So any of these you can use only with countable nouns. Let's look on the other side here. These you can only use with the uncountable nouns. For example, much, much information little information, a little bit of sugar, okay? So these three, which I've listed here under the non-count, you can only use with the uncountable nouns, okay? So some people find that very confusing. So here's the trick. The trick is you don't have to use this or this. If you use anything from this column, you could actually use them for the countable nouns and the uncountable nouns, and you will be grammatically perfect. So if you're not 100% sure, what can you do? Be safe. Use something from here, and it works for the countable nouns and the uncountable nouns. Let's see what those words are. We can say the, okay? The information, the book, it works. Some equipment, some shirts, it works for both. I don't have any sugar in the house, or I don't have any tables, okay? No, there is no equipment at the office. There are no books on the table. It works for both countable and non-countable. We can say, I have a lot of markers of different colors, or I have a lot of advice for you, okay? Again, countable or uncountable. We have lots of chairs in the classroom. Uh, we have lots of furniture in the shop. Enough can also be used. Or the last one, plenty of. Okay, we have plenty of sugar, don't worry. 
We have plenty of books in the library. So, if you're not sure which adjective or article to use with the countable and non-countable nouns, use something from this column and you'll always be right. Okay? So, if you want to practice this, there are two things you can do. First, you can go to our website at ingvid.com and do a quiz on this particular topic. You can also go to the resources section of the same website, ingvid.com, and there you'll find a list that of the count, countable and non-countable nouns, and some of these uh, terms, everything listed for you, you can download that for your reference. Okay? So, good luck with your English, and thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.